Hello, welcome back to Kendall Connor Racing. What we're going to do is try and slow down some of my emails. The most common question I get asked is, how do I break my new engine in? We're going to show you that. Obviously, we've got a Yamaha Blaster. Uh, just rebuilt the motor yesterday. We put it in uh, last night. Started it real quick one time just to make sure we all went home, had supper, and went to bed. So I'm going to show you how to do heat cycles. What the plan is, we're going to do three heat cycles. What that means is I'm going to bring this engine up to temperature. I'm going to monitor it with my infrared heat gun. Once it gets up to temperature, I'm going to shut it down and let it cool completely down. The cycles are very important. A proper break-in is going to make your, the stuff we do for you here, it's just going to make it last so much longer. Uh, the worst thing you can do is take one of my products, start it up, not warm it up, get on the highway, get in your road, and six gear wide open and just go. That's the worst thing you can do. We're going to show you how to properly break in your new product here at Kettle Conner Racing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump on it and start it. Make sure you have gas in it. This has happened here before. Give it a little bit of choke. And again, we started this really quick last night. It should start right up. Alright, really important. You don't let it idle. You don't let it sit here and idle for 15 minutes.
continue just uh, getting this thing up to operating temperature. It's got to about 190 and uh, it's not going to get any hotter than that apparently so we're going to stop. Uh, that's your first heat cycle. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to let it cool completely down. This is a dreary day in uh, northeast Connecticut. So it's probably about, eh, it's about 55 degrees out here. Oh, well, it's 45 as uh, the beautiful Mrs. O'Connor lets me know. And uh, we're just going to let this sit here for about an hour and a half and cool down. And what you just saw, we're going to do the same thing two more times. That's three heat cycles and we'll show you what to do after that. We got the engine up to about 190 degrees. It's not getting any hotter than that. And that's, that's a good sign initially. Uh, it's up to its operating temperature, not getting hotter. We shut it down. This whole process took four to five minutes. I didn't time it, but no longer than five minutes. But again, these things, these will tell you if there's a problem. I get customer bikes in here. I have no idea what they did to these things. And this is going to prevent a potential meltdown if their jetting is wrong or something else. So that's why we monitor that temperature. This went to 190 degrees. That's our first heat cycle. It's done. We shut it down. It's uh, in Drury, Connecticut right now. It's about 45 degrees out here. So we're going to let this thing set, cool off. The wind's blowing a little bit. I'm going to let this go right down to ambient temperature. This thing should get to about the same thing, about 45, 50 degrees. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do my second heat cycle. What you just saw me do, we're going to do three times, three heat cycles. And after we get these three, we're not going to film it, but when we get two more of these done, we'll show you what to do next. Our blast has been sitting around for a little while and uh, we're going to check temperature and get ready to do the second heat cycle. So I got my beautiful assistant, Alyssa O'Connor, my daughter, and she's going to measure the temp. Go ahead, Les, what you got? So we're ready to do the next heat cycle, right? Sir. Excellent. Racing.com with a little O'Connor this time. Bye.